been number one. I can type four pages in nine minutes. How long is it going to take me to type 24 pages? So how long means you're finding the minutes? It's right there for you. This is a direct variation problem. I'll explain why here in a second. You got minutes. You have pages. X and Y. Pages per minute, I don't know. I could divide four by nine, but and again, the reason why it's direct variation, don't draw this line, just watch. X is minutes, Y is pages. If I don't have any minutes, I don't have any pages. That's why it's direct variation. Okay? I've got some minutes, I've got some pages, I got some of each, so minutes on bottom, pages on top. Four pages in nine minutes. Twenty-four pages in X minutes. Nine times twenty-four divided by four is fifty-four. Number two. I can paint one house in five hours. My friend can paint the same one house in six hours. How long will it take us to paint one house if we work together? So how long means hours? It's also a DV problem. I've got hours. And I've got houses. Hours is X. Houses is Y. Houses per hour. You don't know that. You don't need to know it because it's not a line. The reason why it's not, don't draw this, because if I don't have any hours and houses, if I have no hours of work, there's no way I get any of the houses painted. Okay, I've got some of each unit, so hours goes on the bottom. Houses on top. We're painting one house, X hours. I can paint one house in five hours. My friend can paint one house in six hours. That stays one over X. One fifth plus one six is 11 over 30. So it's 30 divided by 11. 2.7. That's your answer if you're particular to find out how many minutes that is because it's two hours and then some minutes you can take 0 0.7 times 60 so it's about two hours and 42 minutes but 2.7 is good enough. Number three, two cars travel for equal amounts of time. One car averages 55 miles per hour. The other car averages 60 miles per hour. If the faster car travels 30 miles further than the slower car, what's the distance each car travels? So miles, you're finding two of them. We've got hours and miles. It's X and Y, so per miles per hour. 55 and 60. Now the line, what's the point of making, you're not going to make a line, there's no point in making a line. So hours and miles, if I don't go for any hours, I'm not going to get any miles traveled. I mean, that's kind of common sense, so it's ratios. But I can't put miles and hours because I don't have any hours in the problem. Okay, so I have to use equal amounts of time. So the times are equal. And I know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. Distance the car travels divided by the speed that it travels. Distance, speed. The speeds I know you got 55 and 60. I don't know the distances. Nobody traveled just 30 miles. Okay, so X and X. But I know this guy did go further by 30. 
Okay, you're not going to get it since there's two X's and there's a plus 30 with one of them. You have to use the ABC cross, ABCD cross products. So X times 60 equals X plus 30 times 55. Okay, 60 times X, and you can't add those, you got to multiply them both individually by 55. So 60X, 55X, 55 times 30 is 1650. Got two X's, pick the 55, get rid of that. Don't get rid of the 60, that's stupid. And that side's empty, so 5x equals 1650. 1650 divided by 5 is 330. So this car went 330 miles. To find the other one, you add 60 onto it, that's 390.